Hi, my name's Ian Robinson. I'm a real estate agent with Century 211 Blue here in Central Florida. Today, I'm gonna to make Toad in the Hole. It's a centuries old English recipe, simple but delicious. Okay, so Toad in the Hole. We make the batter, we leave that to rest. We make the red onion gravy. We let that simmer so that it boils down and thickens up a bit. We put the sausages in the oven, let them brown. Then after that, we add the batter to the sausages let them cook for about 20 minutes. Hopefully the batter rises and we end up with an excellent toad in the hole. Okay, we're gonna preheat the oven to 425 degrees. It has to be really hot for the puddings to rise. So that's very important. So we're gonna turn the oven on now and get that going. Now we are going to make the batter. The batter consists of eggs, milk, and all-purpose flour with some salt and pepper to season. That's all there is. It's best to make this first because you, you want to leave it for a little while to rise. It's left at room temperature for as long as possible, up to an hour. So we break the eggs, four medium sized eggs. I'm going to make sure we get no shell in there. Now we're going to beat the eggs with this little electric whisker. That's all we need to do. Just make sure they're nice and airy. And we're going to add the all-purpose flour and the milk. and a little salt and pepper for seasoning. Now we have to mix this all together to make a nice batter. This is very similar to pancake batter. Consistency. That is all there is to making the batter. Then we're gonna let that rest. Let it rest for as long as possible, is the recommendation. Some people do it overnight and leave it in the refrigerator. We don't have that luxury today, so we're just gonna leave it to rest here at room temperature. So now while we're waiting for the batter to rest, we're gonna start preparing the red onion gravy. That's just basically red onions that are gonna be uh, sauteed with the garlic. Then they're gonna be transferred into a saucepan with the vegetable broth and I'm just gonna leave that to simmer so that it boils down a bit and thickens up. Most people will use a beef broth for this, but I'm making a semi-vegetarian meal because my wife is vegetarian, so we use all vegetable products. She won't be eating the toad, in the toad in the hole. She'll be having just a, a, a batter with no sausage in it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna saute these onions to get them caramelized down. So get a nice hot frying pan Put some oil in it. Put the onions and the garlic into the oil. Hopefully we don't get splattered. So we're just going to caramelise these for a few minutes, get them nice and brown. In the meantime, I'm going to put the vegetable broth. Normally we would make the vegetable broth, but for the benefits of this recipe and time, we're just going to use a pre-purchased one. So add a bit more flavour to the gravy. We're going to put in another English staple condiment, Liam Perrin's Worcester sauce. We just put a few splashes in there, just 
adds a little bit more flavour to the gravy. And again, just another flavour enhancer, some vegetable bouillon, just to add a bit more to that gravy. Just put in one big teaspoonful of that. Put that on a medium heat so that the gravy starts to boil and then we're just going to leave it there simmering so that it simmers down by the time everything else is cooked. The top tip with toad in the hull is to use metal baking tins. If you use a Pyrex one, it doesn't get hot enough. You have to use a tin one and you have to get it really, really hot to perfect that rise of the batter. Otherwise it will not rise up. So that's nice. Now I'm going to transfer these onions now into the vegetable broth. And then we'll just bring that up to temperature and let it simmer there to boil down a little. Okay, I'm going to put the pans with the oil into the oven so that they preheat at the same time. By the time it's up to temperature, we should be able to put the sausages in and cook them for 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so what makes the perfect Yorkshire pudding? If you was to go and do some research, you'll find that almost everybody's got a different idea of how you perfect the Yorkshire pudding. It could be the quantity of milk you use. Do you use milk? Do you use water? Do you use a combination of the two? All recipes obviously have the flour in them. Uh, I've been making Yorkshire puddings for a long while. We normally have that with a roast dinner. Growing up, we would traditionally have a Sunday roast, beef, potatoes, vegetables, and a Yorkshire pudding on the side. I've continued to do that with my family. We have them when we have roast meals. Specifically, we have them at Christmas time as well with our turkey and stuff. Uh, tried lots of different ways of cooking them. Sometimes it's been successful, sometimes it hasn't. It's all about the rise and whether it's gonna actually do what it's supposed to do. Okay, I'm gonna add the sausages to one of the pans and these need to cook for about 15 minutes or so. Probably gonna spit. Just gonna turn them over so they get covered in the oil. I'm just going to put them back in the oven until they're nice and golden brown. And that is that for another 15 minutes. Okay, so the moment of truth. We're about to put the batter in the pans. We're going to give it one more whisk before we do so and then we're going to carry it over to the oven and pour it into those hot pans and hopefully we get a good rise. So that's it for the batter. Okay, so. So now we're just gonna wait about 15 to 20 minutes and hopefully at the end of that, we have a great toad in the hole. Okay, so let's just check on the gravy, make sure things are going good. That's simmering nicely. The onions are nice and soft. And then we just have some peas and sweet corn in this pot here. They say that a perfect Yorkshire pudding has to rise by four inches. So that's pretty big. 
but we seem to be getting some kind of a rise, so I'm happy at the moment. We'll see how it works out when we take it out of the oven. Okay, toad in the hole. Let's get it a going. And there we go. Nice crispy edges. There we go. Okay, we good, right? So let's add some red onion gravy to this toad in the hole. Lots of onions. One more spoonful. And then it's a bit of a tight fit, but we'll put some peas and sweet corn around the edges. Okay, so we're done with the dish. That's how it's supposed to come out. There's the dish, it turned out pretty good. I like the results, better than some of my trial runs earlier this week. If you like what you see, look up the recipe, give it a go. I think you'll enjoy it. See you next time.